What's going on guys? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Mud Millennial. In this video, we're going to talk about Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits and answer seven of the most popular questions Americans have about Social Security, including if you'll need to supplement your Social Security income in 2023, how high you can expect your payments to be, and so much more. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons. And let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest Social Security, SSI, and disability benefits information. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. Social Security is essential to 66 million Americans, but it's not always the easiest social program to understand especially if you've only recently started to receive benefits. So let's answer seven of the most common questions seniors are asking about regarding some of the biggest changes coming to the Social Security program in 2023. Our first question is, what is the 2023 cost of living adjustment for Social Security payments? Every year, the Social Security Administration uses data from the Consumer Price Index to determine if current benefits should increase to keep up with inflation. These benefit changes are called Cost of Living Adjustments, or COLA. Due to the record inflation levels in 2022, the Social Security increase in 2023 is 8.7%, which is the largest COLA in four decades. Beneficiaries will receive the higher amount starting with their January 2023 payments, which should be paid out on December 30th, 2022. Note that even with the increase, Social Security payments alone aren't high enough for most people to live on. While the 8.7% increase can help your budget, you might still need to consider ways to supplement your Social Security income. Number two, is do Social Security employees ask for your social security number over the phone. If you receive a phone call telling you that you'll lose your benefits unless you share your social security number over the phone, you are almost certainly about to be a victim of a social security scam. The Social Security Administration will only contact you over the phone if you submitted a request through its website to receive a phone call. Otherwise, the Social Security Administration will contact you via the mail, not over the phone. Additionally, the Social Security Administration will never ask you for your Social Security number on a phone call or via text message. It will not threaten to sue or imprison you unless you pay a certain amount of money, and you don't need to share your Social Security number with a Social Security Administration employee in order to qualify for the annual cost of living adjustment. You will automatically get the adjustment if you're receiving benefits, and the Social Security Administration will inform you of the increase through the mail. Number three is how high will your Social Security benefits be? The amount of money you receive from Social Security after your retirement depends on how much you paid into Social Security when you were working and when you chose to claim your benefits. The longer you wait to retire, the higher your benefit payments will be. For instance, if you start your benefits at age 70 this year, the maximum amount of money you would receive would be $4,194. If you started at the standard retirement age, which is between 65 and 67, depending on the year of your birth, you would receive a maximum of $3,345. And if you claim benefits earlier than the average American at age 62, your maximum payment will be $2,364. Number four, how can you update your name on your social security card? If you get divorced or married or change your legal name for other reasons, you can apply for an updated social security card with your new correct legal name on it. Typically, you'll need to submit an application for a new card and provide documents that prove you are who you say you are and that you've legally changed your name. You might also be asked for documentation that shows that you're a U.S. citizen. Applying to update the name on your Social Security card is completely free. To get started, review and fill out Form SS-5, the application for a Social Security card form. Number five, K-1 
Can you get your social security benefits if you're still working? Yes, you can both work and receive social security benefits. If you're still working when you hit the full retirement age and claim your benefits, you'll receive benefits no matter how much you're making as an active member of the workforce. But if you start receiving benefits before you reach full retirement age, money will be deducted from your payments if your income is higher than the Social Security Administration's yearly earnings limit. The Social Security Administration's Retirement Earnings Test Calculator can show you how much your benefits may be affected by your income. Number six is do you need an appointment to resolve Social Security problems or apply for benefits? No, you do not need to visit a Social Security office in person to apply for benefits. Appeal denied disability benefits, request a new Social Security card, or apply for a new card if you've changed your name. Instead, you can tackle most of these tasks online by creating a My Social Security profile. However, if you'd like to speak to a Social Security Administration employee in person, you can call 1-800-772-1213 to schedule, cancel, or reschedule an in-office meeting. And last but certainly not least, we have number seven. If you have additional questions, can you get help from the Social Security Administration? Yes, the Social Security Administration can help you if you run into additional questions or encounter problems with your payments. The best way to contact the agency will depend on the type of issue you're having and what kind of help you need. When part of your income comes from Social Security, it's important for you to receive those payments accurately and on time. If you have further questions that weren't answered here or on the Social Security Administration's FAQ page, be sure to get in touch with them in person or over the phone in order to find out an answer to your question as quickly as possible. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information you might have about your own Social Security benefits and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you guys again soon.